or CDs. Uh, Montague! Doug? I was just uh, stretching my wheels on the wind as well. Important exercise. Care to join me? What's going on my spicy people? My name is Dan the Man. Welcome back to another video. And welcome back to another Thomas Friends video here on my channel. Where today I'm going to be reacting to, of course, more, you know, the, the adventures of Sodor. Or, or adventures on Sodor. Sorry, I meant to say that again. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I am trying to upload this early a little bit because I think I have enough time with what I was doing. And while that completely goes against, like, my will of having fun or something like that, I, um, uh, yeah. So I'm still reacting to the rest of season one where I'm on episode three called The Right Way or The Wrong Way. But as you guys may know from the title of it or something, there are two ways of, of doing these things around here, my dudes. The Great Western Way and The Wrong Way. The Great Western Way is, is the, you know, uh, me doing my own duck impression. You know, duck the Great Western Engine. But yeah, the Great Western Way would be for all of you to subscribe to Mr. A the Hedgehog because this video I'm going to be reacting to is, is uh, yeah, owned by him. I'll put a link to it down below the description. And yeah, let's get this started. So, out of all the other characters that we've seen, we're going to move on to the Great Western, you know, engines, right? Like there's Duck, Oliver, Donald, Douglas, and Toe, no doubt, because those guys are one of my favorite characters too, you know? But, uh... Who's Nah, never mind. I kind of forgot what I was going to say because I don't know how long of these intros or short I'm going to make, but let's see what we expect or something. I don't know. But yeah, let's get started. Before I do, however, make sure you guys check out the original video down below in the description. Subscribe to Mr. A the Hedgehog because he makes pretty cool videos. And don't forget to follow my social medias. Twitter, Instagram, I mean, Twitter and Discord. Links are down below in the description. And let's, get, and let's get started on this video in 3, 2, 1, and let's play! Alright dudes, I got the video up right here. The Adventures on Sodor Season 1, Episode 3. The right way or the wrong way. Because there are two things of do uh, of my reaction to this video, everyone. The Great Western Way or the wrong way. The Great Western Way is, is, to, is to make sure to check out the original video down below description and subscribe to Mr. A the Hedgehog, because why not? And, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say. So, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully there won't be any more jump scares in this video, or not jump scares, but like loud noises that'll make me jump. I'm sure there won't be, and hopefully you get to see some good memes, you know, those I'm, I might recognize. But yeah. Uh, anyways, let's do this. Uh, play three, two, one. That's all I got to say. Yeah, let's go. The right way or the wrong way. It was another day at the Great Western Branch Line, where, you know, these two were talking. Hello, Donald. How's Oliver doing? Pretty fine, Duke. The wee engine is a great shunter. Indeed. Okay, not as good as you are. Probably. Thank you, Donald. At least, at least everyone's getting along well, hey, though. Hey, Oliver, could you shunt the trucks from vans to open wagons to tank us to brake vans, please? Oh, uh, okay. Ugh. And they had to do that, didn't they? Couldn't you just leave it like that? Maybe. Now, Donald, the Great Western way is to be neat and tidy, and since I'm Great Western, don't you have passengers to take? Yeah, just go. See you later. Now then, back to this, I guess. As everyone's doing their jobs, and yeah, I get, I bet everyone's getting tired of being told what to do by Duck. Ugh, oh, that Duck. It's always Great Western way this and Great Western way that. He gets real tired when he's told. He's just trying to make his drive sound the best it can be, Mr. Oliver. I know, Toad. There's my new Toad. But if you're arranging the wrong stock, that's too picky, isn't it? I suppose it is in some eyes, Mr. Oliver. Are you agreeing with me or not, Toad? I need be. a... Shit! I'm late with my passenger Wait, train. Wait, what? Be careful oh, the... Oh! What's going on? Sorry, girls. We're running late. Oh, I... as always. Other than... Oh, Mr. Duck won't like this. I don't think he will, but this is what he gets for telling Oliver what to do. Well, he's pulling like a tank full of milk. Or milk. Milk, I don't know, it's just a joke. See this? Honestly, that bloody engine. Every job he starts, I have to finish. 
It's not that big of a deal if he tries to like work hard and stuff. Wait, how do they, how do they even walk backwards? I don't know how, but but that's just cool. Still, I like how they make the animation like that. Besides the strings and stuff. I will speak to you later. We'll see about that. However, Oliver says in his voice. But look at Donald and Douglas. They're like, oh, here they go again, Donny. Yeah, you're telling me, Doogie. They're going to go at it again. How many times do I have to clean up after you, Oliver? Hey, your orders made me late for my passengers. And if I left here as a wood, you would have yelled at me anyway. Well, maybe you should have been quick and early. After all, that's the Great Western. <sighs> These two. All right, I've had enough. Duke and Oliver, all you two has been doing is yelling at each other. It's getting really tiring. So, Duke, we want you to shunt it that far for a while. Or me and Doogie and Oliver look over the branch. Send them away? What? But, but okay, why not send Oliver? At least I can run my branch line perfectly without him screwing it up. Wow. You shut up. Go, punch! Son of a punch, that's where I go, you know? <sighs> Dang, punch him right there. I didn't even you see where it was, though. One thing out of place, all of you is going to get a great whipping. Even hmm. you, Toad. Leave my- Hey, leave my dude Toad out of this. He didn't do anything to you. Toad's one of my favorite characters in the Breakdown. Well, finally he's gone. Well, what's this mean to prove? Mr. Sure Duck Quack Green. Sure Duck his wee branch line without him giving orders all the time. He really think that will work? That's why we'll do our jobs properly and cause no accidents. Okay? Aye. Right. Good. Now, let's get to work. Alright, off they go then to do their works and jobs. While Duck here gets to be sent away like green, green little bossy tuck or quack that he is, I don't know. So we got Henry, De Mary and Bert, and Rosie. Let's see how they think about him being here. Oh, hello, Duck. What are you doing here? Well, me and Oliver had a falling out and Donald and Douglas sent me here. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad you're here anyway. Charlie and Billy caused a big crash and they're both at the steamworks. Where's Stanley then? I don't know. I can never find him when I want him. I think I'm guessing that Stan knowing Stanley, he's probably somewhere at Great Waterton, because when I saw the movie The Great Discovery, that was when Stanley made his first appearance. Because Stanley's one of my other favorite side characters. Always wondering how he first appeared and all that. But yeah, he appeared in The Great Discovery and all that. Like when I remember seeing it, I think it was years ago when it first came out. I don't know. It's just that. And my thoughts or opinions on it, if you guys are wondering, because I don't know, really, it doesn't count as a review or a top list, but I say it's okay, it's just not any, you know, voice acting and all that, except for new narrator voices, it's kind of funny. Well, let's get to work. I can short this yard out in no time. Well, good luck with that, you two. And so, Duck and Rosie began their work at the shunting yards. All day they were busy pushing and pulling freight cars, trucks, and loads, heaving it, heaving flatbeds and tankers to other places, and hauling vans and trucks to other places as well. I don't know how 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 to describe it when I'm speaking gibberish, <laughs> but yeah, all day and it was all in the goods work. Wow, you're really good at shunting. Thanks, though I am a bit rusty at it. <laughs> good one. So now what? I suppose we can wait until the next lot of trucks come. Usually once I've finished with one train of trucks, there's another waiting. I guess you could say you shunt the most trucks around than any other engine. Maybe. Oh, I resent that. Oh great. Look who it is, dudes. It's the it it's the devious black weasel himself, Diesel. What what you what you doing here, you you little uh you know oil burner? Came here to say we Diesels are revolutionary. You know, he's he's, he's talking about Diesels always being revolutionary. I don't know if he's like worse than Diesel 10 or if he's a or if he's like next to Diesel 10's level because he doesn't have a claw and all that, but he does like to be, you know, rude and show off as Alec Baldwin would say. Morning, Diesel. Hello, Ducky. How's your brunch? Did you get kicked out from that too? No, me and Oliver are having a disagreement. Oh dear, that's not the Great Western way, is it? No. Don't you have somewhere else to be, Diesel? Ah. Get out of here. And you know what? Pop goes the Diesel. That'll teach him. You know, let the truck see, see my favorite song. It's one of my favorite songs. I never trusted that 
Diesel. Me neither. What did happen between you two, Duck? I've only heard it from some of the other engines, but none of the big engines told me in detail. Oh, well, it was back in 1957, and Sir Top and Pat had just ordered Diesel for a trial run. Duck's telling Rosie the whole story of how they first met, because I remember how it actually happened, like, in the old days of Thomas, you know, with the 1980s and... 80s and 90s episodes, seasons, you know what I'm saying? Saw them all. Keeping up to time, Douglas? Ach yes, how about you? We are indeed, Mr. Douglas. At this rate, we don't need Doc back. Though the Wii engine can be a bit bossy, Maybe. he was given this launch line for a reason, Oliver. What are you saying? I'm saying he keeps to time and always sets everything in order. It will make his branch line have a least amount of accidents out of the whole railway. Okay. Well, most of the time. And off they go to work, delivering the stones and clay, whatever that is, to the branch. And yet, oh. Diesel is allowed back? It puzzles me too, but I wouldn't question the man in charge. Huh, I, be I bet they're talking about how Diesel always keeps coming back. I think I know how, though, just a little bit of a guess. If I had to figure out who it would be, though, maybe it would be P.T. Boomer. You guys know P.T. Boomer, the first Thomas villain that was the, the, the first Thomas human that was supposed to be the first Thomas villain to be in the movie? Because in the Magic Railroad, he was like, I don't know, I'm supposed to be seen all that, but that's a story for another day. If he, imagine if he was the, you know, the, the somehow controller of the diesels and he brought them over to Sodor, whether manipulating Sir Top and Pat, whether it be like, be good diesels or bad diesels, or I don't know. Oh yeah, have you heard the latest news, Duck? News? I don't think so. What is it, Rosie? Yeah, yeah what news? According to Percy, they're inviting an engine to join their steam team. Nice! I was meant to join their team before Emily came in at the last minute? I mean, it's not that bad having having Emily there. Well, why don't you ask them? Although, I've heard that they're being pretty harsh at choosing this time. So I doubt it. you will have to prove that you are worthy to join them. Oh, oh, you know what? If they if they could have a human, uh, you know, character be too, it'd be me because I'm definitely worthy enough. You know why? Because um, um, what did I prove? Because um, I got I got these, you know, myself looking nice and clean, and I got these uh these wireless headphones. Yeah, th these would be perfect. You know, th th that 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 means why I'd be there. Plus, I'm Dan the Man, so can't have me out of anything. Oh, I think I can. After all, I'm one of the first eight to come to Sodor. True. So, where are these empty trucks going? Somewhere. Just returning back to Knapford. Thomas needs them on his branch line. I don't suppose I could take them. <laughs> of course you can, Duck. Since you finish everything up in a flash, I should be up and ready for whatever's next. Oh, thank you, Rosie. So he coupled up to the trucks, a little bit hard, See ya. and puffed away. See ya. And there he goes. Right off. And of course, there's Oliver with the coaches, as always, or something like that. I thought Donald was going to put all these back when he found the brake van. We put all the way when we put from the brake van. There, neat and tidy. But Wait, Mr. Are you there? The brake van got at the back. Oh. Don't. There's no time to short it out. Okay. Let's just take these down to the yard and then come back. Okay, Mr. Are you there? And off they go. But yeah, I think they're at Nafford Station now, where he found Thomas and James. And he's asking if he could join, like... <clears throat> Let me see if I can put it like this. <clears throat> oh, hello oh, hello there, Thomas and James. Say, I overheard you all talking about another engine to join your Steam team. And well, I was wondering if it's possible that I could join your team? No. Why not? There you go. Doc, you're basically fan service. That's not a reason to become no, a main character. No, it's not. No, it's not that. I was one of the original eight to join this railway. And... I've helped many a times on this railway, and I have my own branch line! True. Really a reason, Doc. Look, how about this? I'll send Gordon over so he can have an interview with you of why you want to join, and what can you give to being a main character. And make sure to cook up something good if it's gonna be a long talk. Ooh, I know what I'm having. How about some, uh... Uh... Something. How about sausage rolls? Those sound really tasty, because, you know, I've always wanted to try a sausage roll. I heard they're supposed to be really good. I should try one. Oh, look, buffer hands, you see? Nice. Hey, Donald! What do you want, Duke? You We're too. trying to keep up with the time, you know? Well, I was wondering if I could come back to the shed for a bit. Duke, you know you have to spend a week down there. I okay. know that, but this is important. You see, I'm having a meeting with Gordon to see if I'm worthy of becoming part of the Steam team. Come all on. Alright, alright, Duke. Just make sure you don't see all of us. 
I don't okay. want the both of you kicking each other in the shins. <laughs> the shins! <laughs> Hear that noise? What was that? Nothing. Just cleaning up. Yeah. Okay, I'll be there in one hour. Later. Alright, you, you see what I mean by when I said buffer hands? It's just that uh, I, I still think trains deserve a lot of respect, you know? The the the, fi the, one, the ones with faces, like, besides buffer hands, uh, I guess, Ian too. I don't know, but that's messed Oliver, up. you need to clean this up. Clean it up? You're starting to shell like duck. Why don't you clean it up? This yard is barely big enough for me, let alone all of this rolling stock. We'll take some of it down to Natford. I've got a good strain to pull next week. Then Douglas. Oh, God knows where he is. Look, just tell him when you see him. This ain't gonna end well, though, I see. Hopefully they'll sort it out soon. But anyways, back to this. This is going just as well as Gordon trying to get up his own heel. Gordon? Come on! Oh, you got up his heel, huh? Alright, you can do it! Come on! You can do it, and he can. Come on! Come on! Do it! Oh. Oof! Why nice. do I have to go? And that's how he got into another crash, as he always does. Thought he was gonna get stuck up on his hill again, but no, he didn't. He just crashed into a brake van and a bunch of trucks. Because you're the only one who has a one-hour break before your next travel to Vickers Town, so you're the only one free to interview Duck. Oh, fine. But if I'm late pulling the express, I'm blaming you. Fair enough. So, what do we got here? He's back at his place. Well, Doc, I've made it, despite you living on the branch line. Ah, Gordon, welcome. I hope you're looking forward to our meeting. Mm. Mean about him being part of the steam team as well. Wait, <gasps> why is there a burning truck? Oh, sweet Jesus, my roast is ruined. Wait, roast? Wait a minute. But what if... Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait, 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 hang on a second there. I'm gonna have to stop you right there, besides the sign that says fat, <laughs> fat hat burger. That's good. Is, wait, is this a is this a steam hams scene or whatever? Is this a steam hams moment? Because if it is, I can't wait. You know what? Let me see if it is. Let me see if it is. I was to purchase fast food and disguise it as my own cooking. <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Montague. Wow, it is a steam hams moment. <laughs> wow, man. Wow, you know what? I'm gonna give credits on that because. Y yes, I, I do love the Steam Hams meme, and I don't know why, but I, it's been a meme that's been around for like a while now. I think since t 2015 or 2017. I forgot when it was be becoming a meme or something, because I forgot how long that's been a meme for, because it's been like, I guess, popular, and I guess it still is. Like, I don't care how old that meme is. Like, Diesel10 said from the, you know, Thomas Comedies and the Magic Railroad, he if he doesn't care how old that meme is and he still loves it, then I do too, because I still think it's really funny. Besides the steam lunch steam jokes, I don't know what he said, but yeah, th you know what? This is good. I, I want to see where this is going. Also, wasn't Duck supposed to say like in his name Duck, like delightfully devilish Duck? Because if he said it like that, that'd be three Ds. You know, three Ds. Uh, it doesn't matter. Or CDs. Uh, Montague. Duck. I was just uh, stretching my wheels on the wind as well. Important exercise. Care to join me? Did you just you see that? You did you see that, right? It looked like he was helping the wall or something. Wait, let me play it again. Let me play it again. Let me play it again. Wait, look, 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 look. My wheels on the wind as well. Important exercise. Care to join me? That's awesome. Why is there smoke coming out of that? I mean, hilarious to me. Hilarious. Oh, no. That hilarious. isn't smoke. It's steam. Steam from the steam clams we'll be having. Mmm. Steam clams. Yeah, like, he's innocent, though. <laughs> Man, two things in one scene. That's awesome. I hope you're hungry for mouth-watering hamburgers. I thought we were having steam clams. Oh no, I I've never tried steam clams, clams before. That's what I call hamburgers. You steam. call hamburgers steamed hams? Yes, it's a regional yeah. dialect. Uh huh. What region? Um, <laughs> Sudrian. Sudrian. Really? Because I've been here for 85 years and I've never heard the phrase years? steamed hams. That's right. Oh years. no, not anymore. It's commonly used on the Little Western. I see. I mean, CMS could be used in any local terms. Although, imagine if it was re uh, real of real word though. Can't even figure out what I was gonna say. You know, these burgers appear to be quite similar to the ones at Fat Hats Burgers. <laughs> I like the name though; it's so funny. Oh, no. and Duck Burgers, old Great Western recipe. Probably four steamed hams. It's not yes, bad. I just steamed them out of my firebox this morning. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. So you call weird. them steamed hams, despite the fact that neither consume human food. 
Well, I think you should because, like I said, trains des uh, the, these these trains here deserve a lot of respect. You know, besides having buffer hands, they should try to eat human food too. Because if you know we can, then they can too. Just facts out there. Well, I suppose that sound a little far fetched. Excuse me for a second. Fetch. Of course. Or Ruffman. Am I right? Hoo wee, that was wonderful. Good time was had by all. I'm pooped. Yes, I should be. Good lord, what is happening in there? A good YouTube Thomas series. <laughs> a, a good YouTube Thomas series. Or an Aurora Bore with the side of a Aurora Borealis. Um, in that right. So we decently written with interesting cast of characters and original jokes being shown in the back of your sheds. Yes. Maybe? May I see it? <clears throat> no. Sorry. Oh man, that that's awesome when you put it like that. But I'm still gonna give credits for this or something. Plus, uh, if you guys are wondering, I'm thinking of making my own Steam Hams memes sometime. I don't know what, but I'm gonna make my own Steam Hams memes video here on the channel sometime. Maybe I could do that for a uh, you know 2,000 subscriber special. That could be it. Yeah, you know what? Maybe that or Among Us or something. Yeah, I should definitely try that. Oh man, thanks for uh, thanks for letting me know about Steam Hams. Adam, some. Duke, the sheds are on fire. No, Donald, that's just YouTube going haywire. Yeah, imagine if imagine if it was good YouTube Thomas series of when they said like that. Imagine if it was the season twenty five reboot of Thomas and Friends. That'd be, hmm, you know. Well, Doug, you're strange tank engine, but I must one. say you steam a good ham. And it's over now. <laughs> Give the thumbs up. Poor Donald, though. You better save him, get it out of there, cause you know. You better put out the fire and stuff. That's a riff. Oliver, dearie, do you think we were a bit too harsh on that and we'll come back? Of course you will be. It's his branch line. Yeah, but we did push him out of his branch line when he was just trying to make it neat and tidy. Well, hopefully he'll be back, as we do need a good shunter to sort out the yards. Oh, I'm sure he'll be back. Plus, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give credit and points for you know adding the steam hams m m m moment on here because that's awesome you know really it is I love good old memes not dead ones though good ones. Evening, Oliver. Hey, Douglas. What's up with you? Well, we've been trying our best to keep this branch line going. We can keep up to the times. It's just the shunting and organizing the trucks that's the troublesome part. Okay, that is the best shunter. It is, but well, there's a fire at Tidbreath Old Sheds. The firefighters need you two to help. Uh oh! You do better get over there now and quick. Find a way to put out the fire and fast, because I see how red it is over there. Oh, there's duck. Oh hi! See well, each other. How did that happen? I burnt my roast when I was having a meeting with Gordon. Of course he did. What We're happened? running low on water. Bob forgot to refill the tanks before we left, so we need to use some of yours. You and with all this rolling stock in the way, we can't save the building. Now what? Alright, Doug, you and me will shut these trucks out of the way. Douglas, you be on standby for the fireman's use your water. Excellent. Now quickly, move. Right, let's do this. Here we go. Time to save the day. Like, we don't need the Sword or Search and Rescue Center. We need the tank engines, right? The steam, the steamies, they can do it. So they put the, those away, and he uses the water to put out the fire. Hopefully the shed isn't too damaged, though, because they better have a place to sleep tonight. Because in no time at all, it's fixed. Put well, up. thankfully, no one was hurt. Ahem. Except for Donald, but... Oh, poor Donald. At least he's alive, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, come on. I'll take you to the works, Danny. We'll leave you two to make up. Alright, thanks, Doogie. Plus, I feel bad for Donald that that happened to him. At least he's alive, though. Even though he does look a little darker than ever, so to speak. Well, um, good job thinking fast. Well, we are tank engines, and we are meant to work fast. Though, With big engines know how to keep being it strong. Tidy. Yeah, I'm sorry I yelled at you yesterday. I just wanted my branch line to run like the Great Western way. Oh no, it's alright. I think we can all see now that keep the place tidy was the best thing. Though, we do need to get rid of some of these trucks. Good idea. I think couple them up together and put them away to the shunting yards? Maybe. Oh, this music. You know, rest in peace to you, Michelangelus. You were the greatest narrator to voice to narrate the lo be the longest narrator of the show, Thomas and Friends. I I'm I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. It's just 
whenever I whenever I hear this background music, the the one that was playing right now, or this th theme right here, in any other case, like I guess for an ending or something, it kind of gets me. Like part of me likes it, but part of me makes it makes makes me feel sad about it when I'm thinking of Michelangelo's because, like, I think I, Michael was one of my fa favorite narrators to you know voice vo to narrate the sh the show, you know Thomas and Friends. Along with, you know, Michael Brandon, Alec Baldwin, George Carlin, and I guess Mark Morganham as well. I don't know about Ringo Starr, though. Anyways, I'm getting off track here. We're at the end. So they head back to the shunting yards, and Duck helps to unload the loads, I guess. When suddenly, the, the other engines showed up to see Duck, I guess. Oh, hello. We're looking for Duck. Have you seen him? Over here. There he is. What's up? Duck, although you did have an awkward meeting with Gordon, and you did burn your shed, we are making you the tenth member of the steam team. Nice! Gordon Croton, you steam a good ham. That's a good enough reason for us, so welcome. Oh, uh, um, thanks, good. Uh, I suppose. Wait, tenth? Excuse me? Wait a second, if he's the tenth, then who's the ninth? Because the seven of them I know are, you know, the ones there, but seventh. Could it be... Uh, who is... I'm kind of lost right now. I don't know if it's Nia, or Rebecca, or... Wait, maybe it's Oliver. Maybe it's Oliver. Just saying, maybe it's Oliver. So what does that make you, though? A main character. So I now nice. have more stories for us, and I can now break the fourth wall. Nice. You know what? That, that's but cool. It's not very impressive. You're not very impressive. Don't you two go start arguing now, because if you do, I will change your coat of paint into some other color. I'm just kidding, though. But yeah, well, and that's the end of that, apparently. Nice, you know what, I'm gonna give credits on that because I think my favorite part of this scene was the Steam Hams moment. Like, everyone lo loves Steam Hams, like, come on, you know? Okay, so who else we got here? Mr. Merlin fan, oh, too, yeah. Mike the Red Engine, <laughs> Mike. Let's see, Shira, Harper. Yeah. Puppet streamers, nice. Some of these I do remember. Some of them. T M F D. Yep, and that's it. But man, if I if I was if, if I get to be a main character, like say for fun, like I guess my own way, that, that'd be that'd be interesting though because I like breaking the fourth wall sometimes, like how Deadpool does, you know. Because Deadpool sometimes breaks the fourth wall, and you know why not I try it too? Because breaking the fourth wall is kind of fun, funny too though. I'd be like I'd be like this. Shoot. Did I leave the stove on? <laughs> like that, you know? But anyways, uh, yeah, that is my reaction to, you know, Season 1, Episode 3, The Right Way or The Wrong Way of The Adventures on Sodor. Now, the great Western way would be that, that of my opinions on this video would be, it was great. I like this. Because, you know, this was really cool. Alright, so I think Episode 3 is up next because I think Episode 10 is going to be the last episode of season one and uh yeah I, I i might be able to finish this on monday or something next monday not this monday but the other monday but yeah thank you all so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed i guess leave a comment down below if you enjoyed because i still love the steam hams moment and sorry about the scene though with michael angelis and all that the background sounds just you know but all good things come to an end as they all say <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I hate being emotional. Like, being emotional is not a big of a deal. It's just I hate it when it gets in my way or something. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Make sure to check out the original video down in the description. And yeah, uh, always remember to do things the right way. Well, that's the end of the road for me, my dudes. I feel a little bit better after the 1% of sad sadness I had right there about the almost ending part. But I feel better, though, knowing that Everything, everything comes to a good end, you know? Even though those two are gonna argue again. Hopefully they won't, but yeah. I think now that Duck is a part of the Steam team, which I knew he always was from the beginning, I guess they can get back to, you know, having more stories about him. I guess along with Donald and Douglas too, because those two definitely deserve more, because Donald and Douglas are one of my other favorite characters, you know? But man, if I had to put my opinion on this video, I would say it was really good because I like where they added, where, you know, Adam and the other people decided to add the the scene with the Steam Hams meme. Like, 
that's impressive right there. 10 out of 10 for that, and 5 stars, you know? Because, man, and as I said before, I like, I, I like all good memes, you know? Like, old memes are nice to relive and see again, I guess, bring back too. I don't know about dead ones, though, but yeah, good old memes are the best memes. Although, I, although you guys might or might not know what the next video I'm going to be uploading is, kind of a bit of a early holiday thing, but I guess it doesn't really matter since I don't really know what to plan for, you know, Valentine's Day and all that. Maybe I wait for tomorrow because you guys might or might not know what's happening next. I might because I, I can predict the future a little bit with my own eyes, but whatever. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and of course leave a comment down below on what your favorite part of this video was, and I guess, uh, leave a comment down below if, um, if you think Michelangelo is one of your, was one of your favorite narrators, or what's your favorite Thomas and Friends narrator, because I, I have a lot of them, I'm just not sure about Ringo Starr though, to be honest, but anyways, uh, besides that, yeah, I guess leave a comment. Uh, I guess also leave a comment down below if you guys like the Steam Hams meme still, because I still do. So yeah, thank you so much for wa thank you so much for watching. I'm Dan the Man, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye.